Hi guys, my name is Megan Paw, and I'm the owner and founder of Amphiba Baby. Tonight we're going to be talking about how to get your infant or your toddler to fall asleep in the carrier and then how to transition them from the carrier to the bed or to the crib. So I've got Tyson on my back here in the kitchen because what normally happens is at least once or twice a week, um, by the time we get to um, after dinner and when I'm washing dishes, he's just had it. He is too tired um, to wait and he will actually typically come to me and ask for me to carry him um, and he'll fall asleep that way. So let's see if I can make some magic happen and get him to fall asleep that way tonight. So I'm just going to go over here. Typically I like to turn on some music when I'm washing dishes I'm because... I'm already sleeping, Mommy. Oh, he's already sleeping. She's already sleeping, guys. So Tyson um, will go to sleep and most babies do if you are listening to some music and you can get a nice sway going on. Um, sometimes even I'll bounce a little bit and pat his bottom. So if I had a baby on my front, that is the same thing that I would do. So I could sway, or I could bounce. Just that nice rocking movement um, will help soothe them into sleep. So when Tyson was little, same thing. I've got older kids, so I would still need to, you know, make dinner, do the dishes before going upstairs. So I would put Tyson on my front and um, if he would get fussy, I would just gently bounce and sway until he fell asleep and then I could go back to my dishes before going upstairs to lay him down. So let's see if I can't get him to do that tonight. lean over and snap the hood. I'm going to collect it, pull it off. I'm going to unhook the buckle strap. I'm going to get one shoulder strap off my arm and the other. So I'm balancing Tyson now on, my, on the middle of my back. But now I've got to make sure that his arms are not stuck in these shoulder straps. We're going to go slow. to go to my left hip and I'm going to slide him into bed. So you saw me put my big boy Tyson down and transfer him from my back to my hip to my bed. But I did want to show you what it's like to lay a newborn down, transfer a newborn from the carrier to bed, uh, because most of you will probably be doing this with smaller babies. So with uh, younger babies, it is a 50-50 chance, let's be real, of you being able to lay the baby down and keep them asleep. But I want to just show you my tricks. So first, I am constantly bouncing as a mom. You guys, you know, it is so bad that I could be at the store and I don't even have the baby on me and I'm just like doing the mom bounce. But to transfer my baby, I'm, I'm bouncing, okay? So typically I would have the lights off, I would have some lullaby music playing for some white noise, and I'm swaying and I'm bouncing. So I'm gonna reach behind my back and unbuckle the chest strap. 
gonna slowly slide one shoulder strap off. Now I'm gonna reach my hand in here so I can support my baby's back and head with my right hand while I slide the other shoulder strap off. Okay. Now I've actually already prepared a swaddle so that I can wrap my baby up so they won't startle themselves awake later at night. So now I'm still bouncing. I'm actually going to now incorporate a little bit of a rock. So I'm gonna rock the baby and then we're gonna go for it. And Dora's awake, oh crap, just kidding. Let's pretend she's asleep. So I'm gonna swaddle her. There we go. And this swaddle actually has a weighted has a weighted sack that you can put on top of the baby so it just provides a little bit of extra comfort now like I said before there's a 50 50 percent chance this is not gonna work so if she wakes up look at me I don't even have her and I was bouncing already but what's gonna happen is if she wakes up I'm just gonna climb in bed with her and I might just roll her to the side and pat her butt and I will hold my face to her face so she's nice and comforted or if you're breastfeeding, I would breastfeed her back to sleep. There's nothing wrong with that. There you go, guys. We did it. But really, because there's a 50-50% chance it's not gonna work. You're really gonna be rolling out of bed like this. Oh shit. How did you come? How did you quiet? Thank you guys so much for watching my how to put a baby in a carrier to sleep and then transition them to bed. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel to watch more how-tos while baby wearing. Take care.